So Brett Roberts has joined us here in the booth for our first period intermission. There we go. So Brett, welcome to the uh, the play at the booth. Uh, tell us a little bit about Brett Roberts. Uh, I'm from uh, Grand Prairie, Alberta. Okay. So uh, a little ways away, but uh, yeah, this is my third year junior. I started off in Beaver Valley. Uh, when I was 18, and then uh, last year I was in Sherwood Park. You in Sherwood Park? Yeah, Sherwood Park. And what brought you to Kimberley? Uh, well, I got traded here in the summer uh, after my 18-year-old year. Okay. And then uh, after playing junior A for a year, I decided uh, the team looked pretty good here, and uh, we had a pretty good chance to you know, go pretty far in the playoffs. So, so the difference between Beaver Valley and here, uh, as far as the, the teams are concerned, because I know Beaver Valley's always got a strong hockey club. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice to, uh, you know, Kimberly of all places to get trade to. We get, they got a really good team here, good uh, yep. good organization, good coaches. So it was, where did you grow up playing hockey? Uh, up in Grand Prairie, playing Kay. in actually Sexsmith, Alberta. Okay, yeah. so that's uh, northern Alberta pretty much? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and the strength that you bring to the hockey club, where, where's, where do you see your, your strength? I'm um, pretty consistent defenseman. You know, I can... You know, play deep defense in my own end, and then also bring a little bit of offense okay. to, uh, to the game. So, so the Dynamiters have a, a fairly solid defense with yourself, and uh, yeah. you got Pelega, you got Van Steinberg, you got Harrison Risden, you got uh, Langler. Uh, so, how, where do you fit in as far as that grouping is concerned? So, who do you who do you do you think you're normally paired with? Uh, pairings wise, I th I've been with uh, Bamber actually. He's other Grand Prairie Bamber, guy. yeah, yeah. So have you played with, with Darian before, or even though he's No, we play? actually didn't really know each other till this summer. Even then, though you're uh, both from, from up from north? From Grand Prairie, yeah. And then we, uh, we were talking quite a bit this summer. I kind of convinced him to come down, play for the team. So So what's what's Darian's strength? Uh, he's he's a really good two-way defender. You know, he's, he can get going up ice pretty good, and he's uh, pretty chippy in his own end. Like, he's not afraid to... People don't like away. to play against him? Yeah, he's hard to play against, so... And that's always a good good sign for a defenseman. Yeah. So looking at the team, uh, we've only we're only five games into the season, but uh, the team's four and one. Um, tell me your thoughts about how the team's kind of gelling, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, gelling wise, we've been really good. Like in the locker room, everyone gets along really good. Uh, we've got a pretty solid leadership group. Um, that's been good so far, and uh, teaching the young guys good habits, and you know, to take accountability, and so. That's been pretty good so far, and then uh, as far as the year goes, you, know, you can tell our our young guys are really talented, and we have a pretty uh, experienced back end that will help us. You know, Always helps to have have the the veteran veterans in the, in yeah. the back end for sure. Yeah. Uh, and the forward the forwards. So one of the job of the defenseman, of course, is to get it out of your zone up to the up to the the forwards. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the players that you have in the back end, they're they're good at getting rid of the puck and, and don't hang on to it too much. Yeah. Notwithstanding uh, Mr. Palaga, who likes to take the puck out of the zone yeah. a lot. Yeah, he's fun to watch. He, when he gets wheeling up ice there, he's pretty fast. So, And I noticed the, the game that you guys played here against um, uh, Columbia Valley, the first game of the year, mm -hmm. uh, he took the puck a couple of times and lost it in the offensive zone. Yeah. But he had the speed to get back, and he was the first one back uh, yeah. to, for the defensive play as well. Yeah, yeah, he's... Uh He's a really good player, and we're really lucky to have him. And okay. Yeah. So who do you pattern your uh, your game uh, after? Who, who do you look up to as a defenseman, say, in the NHL? Uh, I really like, I've always really liked uh, Drew Doughty. You know, that kind of, he's not afraid to be mean out there, but he's also got that offensive side to him, and really good two-way guy. So. Okay. Um, and what are your uh, your goals in hockey? Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to get a scholarship to either go... Um, down to the states or ACHA, and then okay. you know, something like that. So, any any areas in mind, or just uh, if if somebody comes uh, along and says we're going to give you a ride, then uh, you're going to take that? Yeah. Well, I mean, depends on the offer, but I'd like to stay kind of probably in the northern Alberta, Edmonton, Calgary. Okay. So, area. but if you if you get a, a scholarship in the states, uh, kind of the northwest, or does it matter? Doesn't really. I yeah. In terms of the states, it doesn't really okay. matter too much. Yeah. So you mentioned mentioned college. Uh, how are you in school? Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's always been one of my strengths. So, hoping so it, to take a bachelor of science, and then uh, after that, look into you know physiotherapy or okay. like uh, 
even medicine, chiropractic, something like that. So do you see yourself staying in hockey with, with the uh, physiotherapy, or is that something that you like to be away from hockey after um, graduating from, from university? Well, after graduating from university, it'd definitely be something I'd really want to do. Um, you know, to be involved with a team or something would be pretty cool, I think. Much like uh, your, your team physician. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. He, he, he's a great addition to, to the hockey club, and, and I know you guys get bumps and bruises every single day, and, yeah. and he's always a good guy to, to come and talk to and, and get fixed up. Yeah, yeah, they look after us really good here. So so let's talk about uh, living in Kimberley. So who are, who are your billets? Uh, my billets are Trudy and Armin uh, Lofsgaard. Lofsgaard? Okay, so, the Lofsgaards? Uh, Lofsgaard, yeah. And are they training okay? Uh, yeah, they're really good. They're, uh, they're awesome. So they always have really good meals and really... Uh, they're both really good people, so. Treating you like family? Yeah, exactly, yeah. A little bit of discipline now and again? Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> it's me and uh, Darian actually both live okay. together, so. Cool. Yeah. So looking at, at the, the city of Kimberley um, kind of fitting in, you've been here for a month or so now, so mm. tell me what your, what your thoughts are about basically living in this community. Uh, well, Kimberley is like, it's amazing. You know, it's uh, coming from Grand Prairie, you don't have the scenery like this, and uh, the small town feel, I guess. You know, everybody's really friendly everywhere you go, and there's, you know, it's, it's a really nice place to live. So, are you going to school at at Selkirk, or are you at the at the college now? Uh, no, I'm not going this year. You know, I, okay. I wanted to focus solely on hockey this year. You know, make okay. sure that's where all my focus was, and then next year, or uh, you know, if I'm still playing hockey in college, then okay, uh, that's another cool. thing. But so, anything else you want to tell the the fans about uh, Brett Roberts? Um. Uh, not really. There's not much. I uh, read a lot of books. Um, what? Speaking of books, uh, what do you like to read? Uh, right now, I'm actually just started the Harry Potter series. Okay. I've never seen the movies or or anything, so it's. It's cool. always best to read the books first and then yeah, watch the movies. Yeah, that's what I figured. So. Cool. So, which book are you in now? I'm on the second one. Second one, which yeah. is. Ah, uh, what is it? I don't even know the title. <laughs> I know the first one's the Philosopher's Stone. Right. Yeah, yeah. I've seen There's a couple. A lot of, I've all, seen a couple. I like, get them all and then uh, A.K. Rowling is is like she's writ, writ, writing now another series. Yeah. So it should be interesting to see how that works out. Yeah. So you like novels? Uh, any other any other kind of books you like to read? Uh, yeah. Like uh, what did I just I just finished uh, the Book Thief. Which the Book Thief. Book Thief. I don't know if you've read it. It's pretty. I have not read it. It's a it's a really good book. Set back, you know, during the um, Holocaust and stuff. So it's okay. pretty pretty dark but it's really really good, good book what other interests you have aside from hockey uh off ice uh me and darian have been playing a lot of basketball lately okay yeah working on our our three-pointers and, and uh good cardio too yeah yeah um basketball and uh play a little bit of xbox here and there got well yeah. you got to do that right yeah got to relax a little all right. Uh, well, I appreciate you coming out and talk to us, Brett. Yeah. And uh, we wish you all the best in uh, the season. Yep. And uh, hopefully you and the Dynamiters can go all the way to the, uh, the Cyclone Taylor Cup this year. Yeah, hopefully. That's the goal. So thank right. you very much for having me. Thanks, Brett Roberts, uh, the, one of the newest Dynamiters in the booth tonight. Thanks, Brett.